हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन इंसर्ट एंड इक्वलाइज ऑन कोर्ट शेप सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट दैट यू आर गिवन अ बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग एस ऑफ लेंथ इन यू कैन परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन ऑन इट चूज अ कंटिन्यूस सब स्ट्रिंग सच दैट ऑल ऑफ इट्स कैरेक्टर्स आर इक्वल एंड देन इनवर्ट द होल सब स्ट्रिंग दैट इज इफ दे वर जीरो चेंज एम टू वन एंड वाइज वर्सा For example, suppose we have s equal to one zero four times one and three times zero. So you can choose the substring of this one and change it to zeros. Find the minimum number of such operations needed to make all of characters of s equal. So we have t the number of test cases, n integer, where it denotes the length of string s. and secondly we have the string s so we need the minimum number of operations needed to make all characters of s equal so in this case you have nine elements so first you will take these elements convert it to zero and then you will take this one and convert to zero so your answer is 2 now in case of these elements you can simply take this group of 1 1 and convert it to zero so it will need only one operation here only single element is there so you need zero number of operations so here what we need to do is take a substring and then turn it opposite so let's think of the approach to do it so what you can do first suppose i have this string so what i will do first i will count the number of segments of zeros and ones so if i have one here how many segments of one are there Two. How? Let's represent by this. So we have this segment as one, and this segment as the other. So we have two segments of one. Now, what's the segment of zeros? So segment of zeros would be this zero and these zeros. So the segment of zeros are also two. so the minimum amount of it is 2 only so the answer is 2 in case of this segment of zeros 2 segment of ones is only 1 because it is considering this segment so i have here 2 and 1 minimum of which is 1 so i print 1 here in single element we don't need to check but still if you are checking you will get the answer as the number of segments of 1 is 1 and number of segments of 0 is 0 so this 0 is what the answer is here so we just need to take the minimum segment and that will be our answer so how you will do this first to start with what you will do you will check if the element let the element be a of i so if my a of i is let it be 0 then what i will do i will increase my count of 0 to 1 and then while my si is zero which means i need to find that segment okay so i'm finding that segment i have added one for that segment and till that segment continues like till si is zero and my i is less than n i will just increment my value of i which means i will move further in the index suppose i have this one so i check here my 
SI is 1 so what I will do I will increment this is count of 0 here this is count of 1 so in count of 1 let it be represented by this so do not confuse between the numbers and the count so in count of 1 I have incremented 1 in this case now here I check if my next element is also 1 it is not so just I will increment i by 1 and move ahead in case of 0 also same 0 is incremented by 1 the next element is not 1 so I will increment my index index move to 2 if we are starting from index 0 so at second index what I find is 1 now at second index I increment the count of 1 to 2 and now keep checking so after this I move to index 3 check it is still 1 move to index 4 still 1 move to index 5 still 1 and then move to index 6 so at 5 this loop is done at index 6 I see a 0 so I increment it by 2 and keep moving till zeros are there so I will reach till the end of this list and hence I will get the count and return the minimum of the two count which is minimum of 2 and 2 which is 2 so this will be my answer so I hope you got the intuition of this now let's look at the code to understand in a more better way so in this code what we are doing is just we are taking here n and s which are given in each test case now we will count segments of 0 and segments of 1s so I start with index 0 0 based indexing and till the whole length of the list we will traverse and check so if my element is 0 what I will do I will increment the count of 0 segment with 1 and till my element is 0 I will keep on increasing the index so that my whole segment is covered and my count is only incremented by 1 for this segment so we have covered one segment if this is not true means if it is not 0 then it is 1 obviously because we have string of only zeros and ones so we will count increment the count of 1 and then till the element is 1 keep on increasing the index which is covering whole segment at last take minimum of these two segment counts which will return our answer so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching